Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are kicking off our uh, props coverage, our betting props odds coverage of uh, Super Bowl 48. And right now we are talking with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, who's had a great record all year long with us, giving us a lot of great advice and winning picks. His uh, record was 32 and 24 against the spread in the NFL with us all season long, including an awesome record in the playoffs. Troy West, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Peter. I appreciate it. It's been great being on the show all year long. Finished on the website seven and one in the NFL playoffs. Those of the people out there do know who we have on the Super Bowl, but you know what a great way to finish out the season, Pete, with some prop bets. I think there could be some uh, some value here this week, Pete. Sure, absolutely, and there's a lot more value uh, in general every Super Bowl with props than there ever is on the sides and totals because you can really isolate value. And right now we're going to start with. Um, with Peyton Manning props. And uh, one thing, of course, when it comes to all betting, but especially with prop betting, you absolutely have to get the best line. And, uh, you know, there can be wide variation, wild variations in uh, in the prop odds that some of these books offer, especially if you, uh, you know, look at, uh, you know, rec-oriented books like Bodog and places like that. And uh, SBR has a great uh, prop odds comparison chart for the uh, Super Bowl 48 odds you can find at sportsbookreview.com. All right, the Peyton Manning uh, props. Now, of course, you know, whether or not there's value on Peyton Manning props has a lot to do with the pace of the game, how you think that the teams are going to do. Um, I know you're liking uh, Seattle in general here um, on the spread, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Peyton won't have a good game, right? No, it doesn't necessarily mean he won't have a good game, but I sure think that just watching the media, listening to what a lot of these experts have to say is Peyton Manning is sure getting a hell of a lot of love mm -hmm. for a guy that typically does not play in cold weather. So, well, I, I, I did check the weather report before this call, and the weather's not looking that bad. Yeah, it's looking like zero or one degrees Celsius, but uh, no precipitation, not big deal with winds under 10 miles an hour. So, I'm thinking the weather might be a lot less of a factor than people are, uh, are thinking. Sure, no, and I know the weather typically, you know, Peyton Manning has played in cold weather throughout the course of the season. But it is harder to catch the ball. It is harder to chuck the ball down the field. It is a little bit more difficult to stay warm throughout the course of the game rather than if you're playing in the 50s, 60s, or 70 degrees. So I think you got to put a little bit of a consideration into it, Pete, and the game plan and whatnot when they go into this. So I think that's really going to affect uh, the Peyton Manning prop bets going into the weekend. All right. Well, let's get down to some of the specific props. I've got a whole selection of Peyton Manning props here uh, from Pinnacle. Those are the odds we're going to quote. But again, you always want a line shop to get the uh, the best odds. Out of all the current uh, Pinnacle, uh, current Pinnacle Peyton Peyton Manning props, what's caught your eye as maybe having some value, Troy? You know, the one that has really caught my eye was over under 27 and a half completions. Mm. That's a lot of completions mm -hmm. against what we know is the best secondary in all of football. I think you have to go under that total. As me and Joe Duffy spoke on earlier, this is a game that's going to be determined by the tempo. Seattle's got a fantastic running game. Peyton Manning has put together a lot of long drives, and they've utilized Monty Ball and no Sean Moreno. So they haven't just gone to, you know, 40, 50 pass attempt type teams. So that's a heck of a lot of completions, Pete. I got to think under 27 and a half has some value. I can't, I cannot see them completing 28 to 30 balls against the Seattle defense, who probably hasn't anyone snipped that all season on them. All right, yeah, 27 and a half is the current line at Pinnacle. The uh, total attempts is 41 and a half. So do you like the under because uh, you think, you know, it's going to be a, there's going to be fewer possessions and fewer passing attempts this game or because uh, Seattle's defense is going to step up and, and make it harder for Peyton to get completions or a combination of both? A combination of both, absolutely. I think the combination of a good secondary, colder weather, and a team that's really going to have to stay balanced. I don't think Denver can just sit in the shotgun and think they're going to throw the ball over the field. I think it's a difficult defense to beat deep. It's a game where they're going to have to methodically move the ball down the field, long possessions, long drives. 27 and a half just seems a lot in a cold weather game against an unbelievable secondary. And I think Denver's going to have to utilize the running backs if they want to hang in this football game. So 27 and a half, I just think under is a, a good bet here, Pete. Okay, and now let me ask you about uh, two other props that, that caught my eye. They're kind of like the major props that people are going to be paying attention to. So I assume you looked into them. If you didn't research them, uh, that's totally fine. But that's, uh, you know, uh, Peyton Manning, will he throw an interception or not? And uh, how many touchdowns by Peyton Manning? Now, currently, uh, will he throw an interception or not? The yes is minus 170. The no is plus 145. And I'm thinking that the no at plus 145. I know you're thinking that uh, Seattle's going to give him a tough time. 
But I'm thinking that uh, that the no might have a little bit of value. You know, um, in the regular season, uh, Peyton Manning didn't throw an interception in nine out of his 16 games, and uh, the Seahawks uh, did get an interception in 11 out of their 16 games. But you know, the good quarterbacks, Breeze, Luck, uh, those guys in general uh, didn't throw interceptions. It was mostly the kind of crappy QBs who did. So I'm thinking that uh, Manning's a smart guy, knows you know when not to uh, rush a pass or whatever. So I'm thinking the no at plus 145 that might have a little bit of value. What do you? think sure you bring up fair points Pete. but gosh you know with as many guys that can intercept the ball the richard shermans the maxwells mm -hmm. the chancellors the earl thomases man one tiny mistake even a tipped ball anything being picked off i think it's more likely to happen but i definitely see where you're coming with the value of plus 145 as a no Peyton manning is a smart quarterback i think they're going to methodically run a lot of crossing routes i think they'll probably try to nickel and dime seattle right. for the first part of the game but just one tiny mistake and that bet goes to shit. so but I, mean, um, I i would probably stay away but I, you know gosh even at 170 i would think with against this defense throughout as many times as he may throw the ball i think he could slip up at least once and throw an interception in this one all right, and then total touchdown passes by Peyton Manning. It's one and a half. The over is minus 220. The under is uh, plus 185. And this this could be one where I think maybe the under might have some value. I mean, you know, it's kind of hard to hold uh, Manning down to under two uh, touchdowns. I mean, he, he's, you know, he threw uh, two or more touchdowns in both playoff games so far and in 15 out of his uh, 16 regular season games, though. Yeah, this is a tough one, Pete. It's an interesting because, you know, it's really, to me, it's going to come down to the play calling inside the red zone what will they do will they give the ball to no sean moreno a couple times or will they try to catch seattle off guard with play action pass i don't think it's going to be the type of game where manning completes a 60 yard touchdown pass or a 50 yard touchdown pass seattle's just not prone to give up big plays so it's going to come down to the play calling but i would probably lean towards the under but this is a tough one, Pete, really tough. All right, great call, uh, Troy West, but out of all these uh, Peyton Manning props, your favorite would be the under 27 and a half completions. Yeah, that would be my favorite one, Pete. All right, thanks so much, Troy West from allplayswin.com. Now let's move on to uh, Russell Wilson props.